Yeah, welcome to the Roboto Entertainment. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why Ryan Garcia didn't have any other choice but to accept this latest contract offer because he don't have the guts to get in there with Reader's Pro Gray. See you guys in a minute. Peace. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, baby. It's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can hold shape, find all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything Yeah, welcome to the Rebuttal Entertainment Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button If you're not a subscriber, tell a friend, tell a friend The Rebuttal Entertainment is on the road to 10,000 subscribers In the only way and the only way the Rebuttal Entertainment can get there is with you guys sharing the video and talking about the channel. So let's get to it. Yeah, so PBC sends their latest offer to um, Golden Boy Promotions in a revamp contract that supposedly supposed to have been finished two, three, four weeks ago. But as the saga continues, we just keep hearing the same old thing. We still got to dot the I's and cross the T's. So when they're going to be finished dotting the I's and crossing the T's, don't nobody know. But in the latest saga, PBC just revamped the contract, sent to Golden Boy. And this contract concludes that if, if Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis, yeah, this guy here. If Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis, he will get a rematch that he's the A side. That means he calls all the shots. It will be on the zone, and Golden Boy loves it. So, what made PBC, Al Heyman, and Showtime change their mind about this? Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis, that's who. Demonte Tank Davis, that guy, he went there, told Al, send the contract. I'm going to whoop this guy. I'm going to beat this guy. I'm going to knock this guy out. And there um, isn't going to be a rematch anyway. So send them the contract. Get them whatever they want, Al, um, Steven Espinosa. This fight is not going the distance. I'm going to knock him out, and we're going to move on from the saga of Ryan Garcia. So that would make PBC, Al Heyman, and Steven Espinosa change, change the contract term. That would make them change the term. Tank went to them, told them, this fight is not going the distance. I am going to beat this guy badly, Al. So that guy there, Al Heyman, Al, I'm going to beat this guy bad, and you ain't got to worry about this fight being on the zone. You know, so let's make this thing happen, because this is the mega fight. This will be the only mega fight in boxing this year. Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. Don't listen to what nobody else tell you guys. Not Devin Haney, not Lomachenko, not Benavidez, not Caleb Plant, not um, the Monster Inu, not Cool Boy Steven, uh, damn sure not Canelo Alvarez and um, John Ryder. So this will be the biggest fight in boxing this year. Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia. So Oscar De La Hoya, this guy, he just playing tick for tat with PBC because he don't like PBC. So he's 
finding any little um any little thing that's wrong in the contract to try to persuade PBC to pull off this fight all along. That's what I think. I really don't think Oscar wants this fight, and I know he don't want the fight. He can go smile on these podcasts and you know, tell oh he can't wait to fight. This fight can do two, three million pay-per-view battles. We all know that's cap because it's a thing called five stick. I'm not even going that far. It's not going to be nowhere near that. So, but you know, he do not like Al Heyman. So he is trying his best to bamboozle this contract. But I have to give um, Ryan Garcia his props. I have to give Ryan Garcia his props. Ryan Garcia want this fight. He's been asking for this fight. Now that he um have his um mental health issues, now that he have his mental health issues um um over with, now he can fo- focus on boxing. So hopefully they will get this thing straight. Hopefully they will get this thing straight, and the two best fighters. We well, ain't gonna say the two best fighters. <laughs> one of the best fighters and one of the more popular fighters would get it on April the 15th, man. You no, know, because we've been waiting for this fight for too long. You know, it, it's just a shame that these guys got to keep begging their promoter or their advisor to get the fight done. You know, they got to keep, no, we're going to get this fight done. We're going to get this fight done. I, I don't care. Get this fight done. They got to keep going to Al Heyman, keep going to Austin De La Hoya and let these guys know, look, make the fight. Make the fight. Boxing is just, you know, it could be one of the best sports out there. But with all these guys got their fingers and dipping and dabbing in boxing, it would never be the best sport out there. It would never be the best sport out there because of um, the managers, the promoters, and the sanctioning body. They, it, it's all about greed, people. It is all about greed. And that's what's stopping boxing from being the best. That is what's stopping boxing from being the best. Greed. You know, everybody trying to get more and more and more and more. Instead of letting these fighters get more and more. That's who's doing the fighting. Them the guys in the ring who putting their life on the line. You know, these guys is in the ring and putting their life on the line. But yet, but yet, you know, the managers and the promoters think they the one putting their life on the line. Man, make these fights happen. And then boxing can, boxing can be in a better place. You know, people won't be running to MMA and stuff like that, man. So I hope Oscar... De La Hoya. I hope Al Heyman. I hope Steven Espinoza come together and start putting these mega fights on. I hope they come together and start putting these mega fights on, man. Because if they don't, the boxing fans are the ones going to be losing. You know, it's bad enough to fight starting. Uh, 1245 Eastern Time. The fights are eighty dollars, seventy five, seventy, whatever it is, and we still don't get the product that we want in boxing. You know, but yet they think it's hard making these fights. But yet they still don't care about our pockets that we pay for pay per view. It's supposed to be three pay per view fights, and they want us to pay for all three of them. How about the ones they made? Come on, people. Sometimes we got to take a stand, too. But if these guys get together and start doing what they're supposed to do in boxing, we wouldn't have to worry about it. We'd be happy to um, pay for a fight that's worthy of paying for, man. So hopefully they can get this stuff done. Hopefully it's supposed to be announced during the Super Bowl or after the Super Bowl. You know, we're just going to have to stay tuned and see what happens. The Rebuttal Entertainment. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and bless. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Lord, give me a sign, a sign.
wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Getting my way in to be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight 